Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to Wademan State, the Fighting Clams Dynasty, and we have finally made it, as we're here in the Orange Bowl, the Capital One Orange Bowl, and I couldn't be more excited for this, we finally made the college football playoff, it took us, what, five years to get here, and we got a first down bye as well, and we play Stanford, who's going to be a tough opponent, they're going to probably play some smash mouth football, but let me look at our contract, I'm pretty sure it's five years, Oh, yeah, five years, because we went 2-10, and 7-6, and six, and won a bowl. I mean, it's been a really steady progression. We won a bowl three years in a row. We won the MAC for the first time this year. Started 2-10. and 10. I mean, we've steadily just climbed our way up. And this year, 12-1 and one with a MAC championship, and now a shot at the college football championship and immortality. This is going to be electric. I do want to look at higher staff. I think, yeah, we offered Jerry Cantwell a job to be our defensive coordinator. He had a recruiting background, so I liked it. And, yeah, I guess there's not much else to do. It's Orange Bowl time. I believe this is in Miami, and it's the game of the week. Okay, that's not really shocking. And we're going to rock the blackouts. Um, let's, let's go with the uh, – we gotta we got to look swaggy. Out here. Ooh, that's nice. Let's do that. What do they have? I don't feel like Stanford has very cool jerseys. They really don't. I mean, they're pretty blah. The blackout's nice, but we're wearing blackout, so they can wear that. And here we go. First college football playoff appearance for Wademan State taking on Stanford in the, what would this be, the quarterfinal round. Number six versus number eight seed. And a bowl of oranges is on the line at Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, they moved this to Hard Rock Stadium. Nice. Let's go. Stanford was the 10th seed? Oh. I was letting him uh, narrate this, but you know what? It's pretty set in stone. Stanford, Wademan State, winner moves on to the semifinal, loser goes home, sad as could be. We've proven we're a good team this year. Only loss coming to Toledo in the conference. We ended up getting them back and beating them in the conference final or in the conference championship. But here's the kick. The Orange Bowl is on their way. Fun fact, this has always been like my favorite bowl game. I think it's so cool that there's an Orange Bowl. The trophy is literally a bowl of oranges. And here we go. It'll be Cordell O'Keen. He's had a phenomenal sophomore year. And Wademan State in the Orange Bowl. We might just come out and take a shot off play action to start. It's Schlotman out wide. These blackouts look really nice right now. And snap. Play fake to Brown. They have safety help. We're just going to dump it down to King. He makes the catch gain of one. They had safety help over the top. I wanted to take a shot there early, but it's all right. Second nine. And they're showing safety blitz here. Let's do this. And we're going to put him on a whip route. Snap. Blitz is coming. Okeen on the move. Throwing back shoulder. What a catch by Schlopp. Man, first down. I didn't know if he caught it like that whole time. First down, though. Okeen with a dart on the run. First and ten, in the gun. And snap, play fake. Throwing left for Goff, who takes a shot. Incomplete. Second and ten now. All right. Here we go. A lot of two deep safety. Maybe we need to run the ball a little more. Snap, running left. Brown gets two. Third and eight. Maybe not. <laughs> and here we go. On third and eight, Okeen in the gun. And takes the snap, looking to throw, going deep for Renfro, he's behind everyone, Rashad Renfro, the transfer senior, he's had a huge year, and he's got the Orange Bowl started with a touchdown for Renfro out of the slot. Let's go. What a start for this offense, Okeen found him. Extra point from Wademan Days is good, and it's 7-0 Wademan State, just, oh, well, just under two minutes into this game. And Wade Mendez boots it away. This will be returnable for Stanford. And tackle made. And they'll start first and 10 on the 18. As we'll see the Stanford offense, they have... That guy's terrifying. And Sam Mattingly. 
two defensive players, so their defense is definitely the strength of this team. There we go. First and 10, Stanford. And they're going to motion a receiver, and he's going to get it running left. Nice play. Mega chin all over it. Gain of three. Second and seven now. And in the gun, like I said, a lot of power sets for Stanford. And they're going to hand it right. Oh, what? I didn't get an animation. Tackle made by Ojolari, but it's a first down for Stanford. They're going to want to run the ball. That's what Stanford's notoriously done in their program history. And here we go. Another run. Man, tackled by Kinoy. First down again. I mean, we're running 3-4 here. It's just... We're not making tackles right now. Here we go. Snap. Run up the middle. Allison all over it. Let's go. Earl Allison, 59 tackles, three and a half sacks, six TFLs. He's had a tremendous year. We're going to send Tony Tripp. There we go. Snap. Run left. Oh, great play. No one can tackle, though. There's a tackle. Gain of, what, seven? Third and three. Here we go. We're going to send some heat. And snap on third down. Ah. Oh, ball's out. We fall on it. What a play by Earl Allison. Punching it out. Cleveland recovers. And we'll take over first to 10 on the 37. That was the most nonchalant forced fumble I've ever seen. That was the definition of a peanut punch right there. Just happened. To, it was like a drive-by peanut punch. And I guess I wanted to see that again. I thought they would show a replay, but Allison coming back over. How do I hide the oh, R3? And just punches it out on the drive by David Cleveland with the obvious recovery. Obviously, it was a fumble because he was way up. And we'll take over on the 37. First and 10. And we'll give to Brown. Loss of two. Second and 12. That is one thing you can say about us this year. We have not run the ball like we have in the last few years. As O'Keen's going to keep this one running right. He's got a lot of room and a first down. Out of bounds at the 46. Gain of 11. Maybe more. 19. No, they said 19. I thought he got like 11, but okay. O'Keen in the gun. And snap, play fake. Let's get it out to Brown. He's got it. Ah, nowhere to go. It's just a two-yard gain. Second and eight. Four down line and 0-1 trap could work here, maybe. And snap, run up the middle. Nah, gain a three. And here we go. Third and five, I like this. Four down territory for sure for us. And snap, keep it, throw it out. Gets it out. Logan Goff with it. Spins. Didn't make a miss, but has a first down. And here we go. We got to get this run game going. O'Keen in the pistol. Brown directly behind him. He's going to hand to Brown again. And he fumbled. Please go out of bounds. Nope. Stanford recovers. That's frustrating. And snap, run up the middle. Kershaw blows it up with a TFL. Davi and Kershaw, senior. He's done a great job this year. There we go. Snap, it's a draw. No. Tackle made, third and seven. And that'll probably be the quarter here. It'll be third and seven to start the second quarter. We lead seven, nothing. And here we go. They're going to stack the set to the right. And snap, looking to throw. What happened out there? And Soro got fried. It's a huge gainer in the first down. Uh, okay, we can't stack set if they're going to. Or we can't do that if they're going to. Oh, what a play by Mega Chin out in the flat. What a play there. Second and 11 now. And here we go. Snap. Counter run left. I clicked onto the wrong guy. Ball came out, but it's third and inches. Um, uh, this is a problem. Let's 
Snap. Yeah. Oh, it's a keeper. And oh, <laughs> touchdown, Stanford. It'll be 7 7. And the extra point is good 7 7. All right. Here we go. As we will get the ball back, it's. We're fine. But frustrating. Bickley's going to bring it out and maybe shouldn't have. We'll start on the 16. First and 10. And here we go. O'Keen in the gun. And snap. Gets it out quickly to Schlotman. Gain a one. Second and nine here. And O'Keen in the gun. Takes the snap. He's going to keep it running up the middle. That's not where I wanted to go with that. Third and seven. All right. Um, we got flip sides with this, actually. Snap. Looking to throw. O'Keen's got to get on the move. He's going to get out of there. Huge amount of room to run. Okeen, first down to the 47. No sliding in the college football playoffs. You got to lay it on the line. And he'll be in the gun here. Takes a snap. Out for Goff. That was kind of a lazy route, but Goff makes the catch. We'll take six yards on first down. Here we go. Maybe we got to get more creative in the running game. Let's try a little triple option here. Snap. Okeen keeps it running left. He's just going to cut it up. First down, Cordell O'Keen to the 36 that time. He's got 60 rushing yards already today. And snap. This one's a run. Brown still going. Gets a hard-fought three. Yeah, just have not been effective in the running game so far with the running back, that is. We're going to go back to him, though. Cuts it up. Brown downhill. That's a better run. First down, Isaac Brown to the 24. He may have fumbled. I'm not going away from him. He's a senior. He's earned the right to play this. Snap. Looking to throw. O'Keen's going to step up. Goff, get that block. He did not. But O'Keen's going to lay it on the line. Two-minute warning. First down. Cordell O'Keen looking like Lamar Jackson out here. And, okay. First and goal. O'Keen in the gun. This looks like man. And snap. Looking to throw. And he is dead. Second and goal. Yeah. They took Schlotman away right away. I didn't know they have a secondary read. Snap. Looks to throw. And he's got to get on the move. No one's here this time. Touchdown. Cordell O'Keen. Take a bow, young man. He's in for the score. We take the lead back. And extra point is good. 14 to 7. And we'll boot it back with the Wademan days. There is a win today. And he kicks it away. And they might they will bring this out. And tackle made at the 15. And here we go. First and ten, Stanford. This is where our defense has been so good this year. It's been late in the first half. And, the, oh, I thought he was going to the running back, so I tried to jump it. And there's the stack set has given us fits here early on. We're, we can't run man against it. We know that. Snap, looking to throw. Throwing left, incomplete, third and ten. That, what is that tree doing right there? Here we go. Third and ten. And he'll come out under center. Snap. And they're just going to run it up the middle. <sighs> I guess I didn't see that one coming. Snap, looking to throw. Left. <laughs> Quit clicking me on to random people that have nothing to do with the play game. That's so stupid. Ugh. First and ten. Snap. Out wide, picked off, Trajan Greco, takes it the other way, and it should be an easy pick six or Greco. Let's go, Trajan Greco, pick six in his last game as a fighting clam. 
the transfer senior quarter cornerback. He's been here a couple years though. And he's coming up big again. 21-7. Big game Greco gets it done again. And Wade Mendez will boot it back to Stanford. And Jay Crawford's got electric speed running down. I whiffed. Tackle made. First and 10 on the 13. Here we go. First and 10 Stanford. And snap looks to throw. And well, click me on to Sora. Why would I want to be that safety? But... <laughs> Whatever. Here we go. First and ten. Snap. And that's open. Second and five. Okay. Second and five. And snap. Mia. Yeah. And tackle made. Timeout Stanford. All right. First and ten. Snap looks to throw. Underneath tackle made by Crawford. Second and five. Uh, okay. And snap again. Checks it down. Tackles made. They're going to say he's short of the line to gain. And in the gun, snap. I thought it was a screen. He's going to get hit. I'll oh, pick it. Oh, man. Megachin had a chance to make a huge play there. So it'll be fourth and inches on the 36. Instead of going for this, they're going to try a long field goal, and he nailed it, I guess. We'll live with that. I mean, they easily probably could have got that just going for it 24 seconds and all three timeouts we're not going to return this we have had no success in the return game here we go first and 10 okeen in the gun to start yeah that's fine snap looking to throw and he fumbled oh my gosh okeen fumbles at the freaking oh my god First and goal. Snap. They're going to run it right. Touchdown, Stanford. Wow. All right. That was really bad. Here's the kick. And Bickley is going to get a chance to return this. Cuts it left to the 24. Yeah. There we go. Snap and run to the right. Brown downhill. We'll use the timeout. Why not? Um, this could just be a heave one up. See what happens. Snap, looking to throw. He's got God, Jesus Christ. Third and three, yeah. Uh, you're going to block. Yeah, he had Goff open. There would have been time left to maybe try a field goal. Back to throw. He even one up for Schlomman. He's got it, but he goes down at the 15. That'll end the first half. We lead 21-17, and what is... We played terrible in that first half. The fact we're even in this game is insane. I mean, and a fumble from Brown, who I don't know if he's fumbled all year. Didn't we kick to start this game? No, we returned. That's right. Okay. But, and then the fumble from Okeen, which was like a 14-point swing for Stanford, is Crawford can't make the tackle, but... He gets help. First and 10 on the 12 for Stanford. And here we go. First and 10. And snap. Looking to throw. Middle. Tackles made. First down. All right. And... 
snap. Run to the left. Allison didn't make the play. Mega Chin, though, with another big play. And he just played really well that day. Second and ten. Snap. Run to the right. Abram can't make the tackle, but Mega Chin running him down from behind. Mega Chin is on a mission today. Third and seven here. Let's get home one time. And snap, looking to throw. I just, there's nothing you can do about that. It's just a cheese route. It's a drag against man coverage. It's going to win every time. You can't press him with a linebacker. Which, the fact that pressing with linebackers isn't an option in college football 25 as they take a shot. Greco picks it off. Bring it out. Why not? I mean, we'll at least get to the 20 on this return. He's going to go down at the 24, and we'll start there. First and 10. But the fact you can't press linebackers is insane to me. Anyway, points mute. Snap. We're going to give it to Brown. Terrible blocking, but Brown gets seven. Um, all right. Second and three. Uh do this and snap looking to throw out left for Bouchard who makes a catch and first down um okay and snap looking to throw out wide right back to Bouchard again first down and tackled at the 47 first down Here we go. Snap. Run. Pfft, nowhere to go. Um. Yeah, our run game has really been a problem today. Second and nine. O'Keen in the gun. Takes the snap. Looking to throw out left for Renfro. Wide open. Diving catch. O'Keen's accuracy has been all over the place today. Um. I mean, I don't know what coverage this is. Snap, looking to throw. Probably at Schlotman, but Okeen's just going to run. Get out of bounds. First down, that's a late hit. Okeen with 100 on the day rushing. I probably had Schlotman. I didn't feel like we need to risk it there. And snap, looking to throw. Out wide for Logan Goff. Makes the catch. Gain of four. I don't like how if he runs that or picks that option, it kind of, the tight end just kind of, or the receiver runs the same route. It's kind of rough, but here we go. Run left, Brown. You got to get to the corner. Brown looking for the edge. Cuts off the back of Goff and gets down to the two. First and goal. We're knocking on the door. And Shaq McBath is going to come into the backfield. Uh just a one power all right you gotta go we gotta go bouchard in motion and snap run mcbath lunging down to the half yard line i don't know why we're in the hurry up um there we go let's do this drop him back into the pistol while slot him in motion to the other side and right back third and goal on the three um, I mean, we can run it again. Third and goal. This is definitely four down. Goff's going to motion. We're going to let the quarter run out. End of the third quarter, 21-17, but we're knocking on the door of the end zone. Here we go. Isaac Brown into the backfield. Third and goal. And, okay. Snap, run. Brown loses a yard. Fourth and goal. Um. All right. Fourth and goal. Uh, actually, maybe just run a drag off that. Yeah. Snap. Looking to throw. And. Oh, Keen can't deliver it. Man, what do you do there? There we go. First and ten in the gun. 
Snap. Middle out of reach. Tackle made first and ten. Wow. Here we go. First and ten Stanford in the gun. Takes the snap. They're going to run it right. Abrams can't make the tackle, but Kershaw cleans it up. Second and nine. And here we go. Snap screen. And he's hit as he throws. Third and nine. I didn't see who got the pressure there. I think it might have been Doss. And here we go. Third and nine. Huge third down here. Snap looking to throw. And checks it down. It's incomplete. Cleveland much better coverage that time. They got a punt. Let's go. Punt team out for Stanford. And they're going to boot it away. Bickley back. And we're just going to fair catch this. We'll start on the 32. Here we go. Problem is we haven't ran the ball well at all. But. Snap. Run. Brown. Gets to second and eight. Isaac Brown is in pain. Checkman Bath is actually going to check in here. We're going to motion him out. Snap. It's man. Just get it to him. Oh, they flipped it. Was that not man? Did I just get bluffed? No, it was man. They just switched it, I guess. All right. Third and six. O'Keen in the gun. Actually, block McBath here. Snap, looking to throw. Schlotman's wide open. O'Keen drops it in. Schlotman with the touchdown. Doug Schlotman burns the defense. And we score. O'Keen dropped it in the bucket. Beautiful pass there. And the extra point is good from Wade Mendez. 28-17. I'm not going to say it's a dagger because there's a lot of time left. And, I mean... Just not going to say it yet, but that's a big play. Is they're going to bring it out of the end zone. Nice play. Cleaned up by Crawford, and I didn't see who else. But first and ten, Stanford. Now it's a two-possession game. Defense, we got to start getting home a little bit. Snap looking to throw, and rolling right. He's hit second and ten. Is that just four verts? Yeah. And here we go. Second and ten here. We got to get home, boys. And snap. Play action. And... Oh, third and inches. Um, okay. Maybe we can bluff him here on third down. Snap looks to throw. It's stick. Cleveland makes the tackle. First down. Uh, all right. First and ten. And switching things up again here. Snap. Looking to throw left. And our 99 speed receiver is... Our corner is burned for a touchdown. All right. And they got to go for two here, I guess. Snap, run left, no one is paying attention. Two points good, three point game. They're gonna kick it deep. And here's the kick. Bickley's gonna get a chance to return from the five. Cuts it up. Bickley, good return to the 26. We're gonna turn two clock on. There we go, first and 10. I'm actually, I'm terrified of um, Isaac Brown fumbling, so we're probably going to bring McBath in for the remainder of this game, or Don, I don't care which one, um, I'd rather have McBath, he's a senior, a proven senior, Brown, I'm just scared of Brown getting fumbling with his current condition, as we're going to give it to him here, he'll cut it up. Gets good yardage. Ow, takes a shot. First down, Isaac Brown. And here we go. McBath in. 
Snap. Run again. McBath downhill. Lowering his shoulder. Getting a first down. Why are we being so aggressive in the passing game right now? Let's just take this to the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning here. All right. First and ten. Snap. Run up the middle. McBath runs into the O-line and then gets four. Timeout Stanford. Um, okay. Second and six. Snap. Run to the right. McBath cuts it up. Foot and ground. Spins. First down. Shaq McBath. That's close to sealing it. It's going to, yeah, I mean, they can stop it. We just got to be secure with the ball here. Okeen in the gun or in the pistol. Back to McBath. Go 64. Stanford uses their final timeout. And here we go. In the pistol. Snap. Run left. McBath getting shifty downhill. Getting a few. Um. I don't think a draw is necessarily the answer, but I don't think we have to throw it. I don't hate a screen play call here, actually. Third and four. In the gun. And... Snap. Looking to throw out. And it's caught. Dom Sneed! Go down! He goes down! We're moving on to the semifinals! Dom Sneed! Okeen down to a knee, and we're going to the semifinals with a win over Stanford. It was not pretty by any means, but you just got to find a way to win this time of year. We didn't play well on offense. Didn't play well on defense, to be honest. We played better on defense, but the Orange Bowl is ours. Look at that. The Bowl of Oranges. Okeen and Kinoy hold it up proud. Okeen played well. Did have that fumble that was almost really bad for us, but... You know what? We won. Schlotman house called it. And we got the win. It was not an easy game by any means. Okeen, 15 of 18, two touchdowns, 263 yards. Rushing Brown, 13 for 58. Ended up having a decent day. Did fumble. Okeen, 9 for 99 and a touchdown. Did have a fumble as well. That It was a bad one. But Shaq McBass, 7 for 31 and and had a great play there. Great couple runs. Schlotman, 4 for 135 and a touchdown. Goff, 3 for 16. Bouchard, 2 for 21. Renfro had 2 for 75 and a score. Sneed with the 11-yard game ceiling catch. Defensively, 9 tackles for Kershaw. No sacks today. 2 INTs for Trajan Greco, but... I wanted to look at Megachin. Five tackles today at TFL. He was all over the place. I felt like he made every play for us on defense. He obviously didn't, but he had stretches where he dominated that game. And we move on to the semifinals. I don't know who will play, but Wademan State doesn't go down there. We get an Orange Bowl trophy in the trophy case as well, which is awesome. My favorite trophy. And we'll sim the week here. Beating Stanford. Let's go. And we get Dion Melvin, a three star guard. Oh, uh, and Dion Bandy goes to Michigan. Yuck. Why would you ever do such a thing to yourself? <laughs> and Trajan Greco, Mac Defense Player of the Week. I'm assuming we'll probably win all of them. For, oh, he was National Defensive Player of the Week. He did have a pick six and two interceptions. That makes sense. Cordell O'Keen, Mac Offensive Player of the Week. Didn't play great, honestly. His accuracy was a little all over the place. And we get TCU in the college football semifinals. The Horned Frogs of TCU. And I think I saw Georgia won on the other side. And Georgia and Oregon on the other side is insane. So we're going to play a good team if we can beat TCU, who obviously is going to be a good team but that'll be next episode more than likely let's see if we got our coach ignore the dog that sounds like a little girl barking if you can hear that he's just excited waiting in states in the college football semifinals we'll be in the peach bowl next episode but until then i want to say thank you guys so much for watching and what's their overall okay and as always it's been the captain and peace